Good morning, good morning, good morning, good people. Welcome to FYI, and we trust that you guys are great. We trust that you guys are fantastic. We trust that you guys are awesome. This morning is Thursday, the sixth day of October in the year of our Lord, 2022. Believe it or not, 2022, sixth day of October already. The month is hastening on, folks, and we got to pick up the pace. You know, those of you who are going, going after some hopes, dreams, and aspirations, we got to pick up the pace a little bit, guys, and share the life, and smash that emoji button for us. We are ensuring that we are shared around to all the right and correct places. And we're privileged that each and every one of you are here with us and that a lot more folks are going to join us. Uh, we thank, we're thankful for a new day, you know. Every day you wake up, they say, above ground, we got to be thankful. And we are indeed thankful for yet another day. And the privilege and the opportunity to come into your homes and to your smart devices. Uh, some of you are in the bus, you're heading to work, you're heading home after a hard night's work. And we trust that you've had a productive time there. And some of you going off. And we hope to send you off with credible and valid information. Going off to work, that is. And again, we hope to do so with some valid and credible information as we start today. We trust that you guys are great. You've had a good night. The night before us is far spent. And we have the morning now. And we trust that you guys are awesome. A good morning to each and every one of you. Wherever from around the world, you beautiful, wonderful folks are joining us. Welcome, 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 folks. Welcome to FYI. We're so happy that you guys are here with us. Privilege, we say, privilege to have you guys here with us. We count it a distinct privilege to have each and every one of you here with us, guys. Welcome, 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 welcome. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. So happy to have you here. I see Marilyn Thomas is already here with us. And out front parts, believe it or not, we got Orin Don Cook is here too. And I see my Beatrice Selby. You know, Beatrice is always early. And we are thankful for that. We are grateful for that. Beatrice Selby is always early. We are so thankful for that. Good to see you folks, wherever you're joining us from this morning. And Mavis Davis-Well is here too, guys. What are you having for breakfast? Please let us know what you guys are having for breakfast at your end. We fast, we want to, you know, Cubbins is here and Sean Tasha is here as well. Good to have you. Tessa Isaacs, Grape Zandy is here too. I see D Black is here. Yep, the black is here. I see the black talking about the uh, diesel at Gael that's been raised. And lots of folks are complaining now because they're reading the fine prints and they're complaining that that, uh, that lowering of the gas price, even though they said initially they couldn't find no capacity, they couldn't find the fiscal space to do it, lowering of the, the gas price is not universal locally. It's not. It's not. It's only at the Gael gas stations. I hear people complain about that. Let us understand and all the other folks who are joining us. We're privileged to have you and Tommy Lee Gibbs and I see, uh, is it Chanel Wilson, Lennox Anderson, D Black, Erwin Don. Good to have you here as well, guys. It's a real privilege to start the day with some good folks like you. We hope that you pull up a cup of something with us or a bowl or a plate. I start the day with a cup of black coffee. I don't know how you're starting, but I'd be happy to know if you tell me. I'd be happy. Boots on the ground, Don Bain says. Boots on the ground indeed. Cleon Christopher, a good morning to you, Cleon. And your home circle, and Beatrice Selby, Tommy Gibbs, and uh, all the other folks. Pinky Richmond is joining us as well. We're so privileged to see you folks. How was the day starting? Uh, have the kids gone off to school as yet? They're in the process. They're waiting in the taxi, they're waiting on the bus. Your husband taking them, the wife. You know, it's rough out there. It's rough out there. But get them off, folks. Get them off as quick as you can. Warren Fugera is joining us. Solar power. And Warren says, oh, good evening. Warren, where are you joining us from? Good evening, Warren. The last time I checked, Warren for Gary, who lives in Long Island, and one of our island uh, supporters uh, was in the Congos doing some hard work in the Congos there. So, Warren, where are you this morning? Warren is a frequent flyer, you know. Warren is a frequent flyer. I'm going to send some of those miles my way. Edward Brooks. Oh, sorry, Warren is in Cambodia. Yep. Yeah. Apologies. He's in Cambodia. He's corrected me. Warren is in Cambodia. Less than charge is here as well. Warren stays safe for us. There in Cambodia, a lot of history in that place, a lot of, a lot, a lot of history. Uh, June Chase is here with us as well, and Andrew Griffith. Andrew, good morning to you, Chief. Uh, Carpenter Boy Trutella. Carpenter Boy is one of Trutella. One name, you know, Carpenter Boy Trutella. Oh, your parents. Little thing ish. Parents, little thing ish. Mayboy King, good to have you as well. All the folks who join us. Guys, don't wait. Share the live. Smash that emoji button. We count it a privilege. To be able to come into your home is like this. So 
We need to come in your smartphones. You know, that's the power of social media. You don't got to go and sit in front of the television home. Even though we know that's the way some of you receive us. Why if a girl receives like that? In front of it's sprawling in a five-inch uh, wall-to-wall uh, television there. That's how he receives us when he's in Long Island, that is. But we know for some of you, we come on your smart devices. We come on your iPad, your iPhone, your Android phone. You know, I got a blue here I try with. You know, it comes out every now and again. Sometimes in the middle of a conversation, it just reboots like that. You know, try with it here. Try with it. What are you going to do? Pinky car, chair, basket, Greenwich, and out front part, all the other folks who are joining us. It's such a privilege to be here with you this morning. It's such a privilege, good folks, to be back here with you. The girls are out. I'm like, I like it. Like, 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 I like the little quiet shoot. <laughs> I like the little quiet shoot. Oh, they hear me. Like, I like the little quiet shoot. <laughs> Evil Lama said, they're mixed. But like, I like the little quiet shoot. You know how? When the kids are in the house, you know? I miss them. But... Let's go go till three. <laughs> Sanjo Ford. You all don't tell him I said. Mary Thomas and all the other guys. Even Ramasa, I have on Natasha Congress joining us from the country where they keep the king, the king of England, Charles III. Good to have you, Ayabo. And I see uh, all the other guys joining us. It's such a privilege. Share the life. Smash emoji. But we are the real folks. We out here. It's a way we like to do things. We live different. Forgive us. We live, we, we live different. Forgive us, guys. It's good to be here with you. Really good to be here with you on social media. And, you know, I want to thank God. I want to thank... Let, let me start this morning. I, I want to thank God for how far we've come. You know, when I started out on social media, I was holding my camera in my hand, you know. My little uh, smartphone, I think it was, um, was a Samsung there. Now. You know, holding my camera in my hand. That's how I started, you know. And I want to thank the Father up above for today. And how far he's brought me. Personally, Ronda Ferguson, I see you there. Uh, Malika Andrew Coates, Andrews Coates, good to have you. And Veronica Primo, Veronica, how are you doing now? Really good to see you, Veronica. Good to have you here. And Candida Lean Indigy is here with us. Persis Wilson, the hater. Uh, Kylo Tech, Edward Gonzalez is here too. It's a full house this morning, folks. I know for that breakfast, everybody, but I'm going to share as much as I have. Mm hmm. Good to have you good folks with us. Again, so many folks joining us. You know, Paula Maris is here. She ain't going to be left out. Paula is here with us. And Rudy Hines is here with us as well. Thanks for joining us, Rudy. So glad to have you here, Rudy. So very, very glad. And Rhonda and Paula Irwin. Uh, I see Loretta Argyle is here. I see uh, Yvonne Ramasar and all the beautiful folks who we like to have around. Guys, it's a real privilege to have you folks here. We got a lot to discuss. So I don't know about you. But if you folks are up to it, if you good folks are up to it, I think I'm ready to get to it, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I think I'm ready to get to it. Folks, folks, believe it or not, believe it or not, it's, 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 um, it's that, time of, that time of year. It is that time of year, good folks. And, you know, October, October, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And again, we can't uh, emphasize this enough. Today, John uh, Main Street, uh, there's going to be a what what do you call that there's going to be lots of boots there's going to be lots of boots out there and um you can go and you get your pap smear done you can you can uh start the initial testing and all of that stuff because we've been telling you folks both men and women are affected by breast cancer and early detection good folks is the key early detection is the key early detection don't let anybody fool you early detection is the key and this is very serious. We've articulated here how this dreaded disease, uh, it kills thousands of people on a yearly basis, both men and women. Thousands are expected to be diagnosed with breast cancer this year alone. Uh, and thousands are expected to die also. 50,000 people are expected to die with breast cancer around the world this year. So it's very, very serious. Folks, very, very serious. And we hope that you guys do your part. Do a part, get tested early. Uh, we want to have you guys around a long time. We want to have you guys around a real long time. So get tested as early as possible. Uh, brothers and sisters out there, and let's do what we got to do. Don't, don't, don't let me waste time at all. I beg you all, don't let me, there's no time to waste. We got no time to lose. Let's get to it, folks. Let's get right to it. Good to have each and every one of you here. Wherever you're joining us from this morning, it's a real, it's a real, real privilege to have you guys with us. And let's get to it. We're wasting no time, you know. Folks, early detection, they tell us, is the key. 
Early detection is the key, and we want to make sure that we are around here for a long time. Around here for a long time, all fun parts, Paula Capribo, Rollins, and all the other folks, Barbara Ralph. I really wanna, I really wanna thank you guys for showing up every morning. And you know, Veronica Primo Rollins is reminding me of the days when I was protesting all by myself by the embassy with my phone in my hand. You know, I got a big out of passion to do this work, to bring you valid and credible information, to represent your interests. That's why I became a parliamentarian, to represent to move from the streets and go to the highest decision making body, the legislation, try to enact uh, some good policies that can benefit you. But when we go out there, you know, them boys don't want to hear me, right? They say it's too radical. I suspend the eight sittings now, you know. Eight sittings. I'm on, I'm on the last four. Well, quote unquote, last four. Not receiving a parliamentary salary, but I'm still out here. Them boys cut my parliamentary salary. That's all the vindictive, but I'm still out here. Still out here, good folks, with you guys. And as long as you guys are out here, Barbara Ralph and Candy Lee Indrajit, I'm going to be out here. And Candy saying she lost her mom in 2017 to cancer. Yep, let's go and get tested, folks. Please, let's go and get tested. Good to see Marilyn Thomas and Madonna Fresco, Roxanne Galloway, and all the other folks. Deborah Mitchell, good to see you as Good to see you as well. Wherever you folks are joining us from around the world, we are a scattered people. Every conceivable country around the world. We got some guy he's living there. And we're thankful for you guys that you tune in from more than far. Roxanne and Samoa Williams, Don Baines, and all the other folks tune in from Nero for in Antigua and Barbuda, in St. Kitts and Nevis, in Barbados, in Trinidad. People tune in to know what's happening at home. I tell you, the day I left this show, I tried to break me. I mean, I'm done with that. <laughs> but I'm fascinated how people live overseas and they're still very much interested in what's happening home. You know, I had some hosts in St. Kitts and Nevis, right? And Corinne telling me every day, you see this, you see that, and more fast than me. But what's happening back home? Big shout out to Corinne and Joe in St. Kitts and Nevis. Thank you guys for being a such special host when I was there. Corinne was on the ball, you know. You see this? You hear this? Sometimes it's long before I do. And Corinne left it overseas, you know. But the Guyanese are so into you. Y'all fast. That's what I really want to see. <laughs> Y'all are fast. Gary Anderson, I have an attached to Congress. Y'all fast. You're all fast. You know, I could see uh, some of you watching the program, and you're more interested in the background than, than me. I want this better by these lives. <laughs> I want this be, it's better get a cookie thing from. I want this better come down there. Uh, the, um, the, the little pork later in the back and, and, and look too bad. And, 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 and the grocery the cupboard. So, you're fast. If you've been thinking that, you're fast. Donna Fresco and Ayabo. You see, Ayabo says this. Confessions go to the store. Ayabo says, we fast. Clifton Smith says, I lost my wife to cancer, so I would encourage everyone to get tested now. Take Clifton's words. Well, I'm going to go down there too and make sure that I start testing. I'm at an age, you know. Only look, sir, I've kept good, you know. The Lord has been good to me. Uh, but for the grace of God, go oh, The Lord has been good to me, and so on. <laughs> I got a little age too. I got a little age. Good to see each and every one of you. A little makeup help now and again, you know. A little makeup help. But good to see you folks. We want to get right into the morning papers. We all there. Y'all know hi to us. We want to get into the morning papers, folks. So good to have you folks. Precious is here with us. And I see Deborah Cox is here too. And Sean Tasha. How are you folks doing? We're about, we're about to head into the morning papers. And we trust that you guys are great. Share the live wherever you're joining us from. Smash that emoji button for us, folks. And let me go down the road now. We got a simple, straightforward program we come we tell you the facts we tell you the truth credible valid information we move all the way and so you guys can go ahead and have a great day smash that emoji button for us share 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 the light and let's go down the road <laughs> this is how we've always done it and this is how we will continue to do it folks let's take a look at some of the things that are happening in the morning paper some of the things that are happening gotta make sure my subject and my verb agree there must be coherence concord in the subject and verb yeah Let's touch on a couple of things that are happening, folks, that are making the morning papers and that we think, we think, we know too much that you just, you just might want to, you just might want to hear about, all right? We can touch on a couple of things. And I seem, I seem to have lost some of the notes, but we're here nonetheless, folks. Uh, uh, we are here nonetheless. I seem to have lost some of the notes and I, I, I'll see if I can pull, pull them up. Good. So let's touch on a couple of things that folks making the morning papers and that we believe you ought to know about. We believe you ought to know about, uh, first and foremost, what are we dealing with this morning? 
first and foremost, let me let me come around the back end and see what's happening here. All right, let me come around the back end, folks, and see what's happening here, because we want to bring you credible and valid information always with what's happening on the morning papers. And first up, guys, I think it's first up. Let me make sure. Let me make sure. Uh -uh. Let's stop it. Yep, yep. First thing, farmer, a farmer, Ganesh Danraj. Believe it or not, a farmer, Ganesh Danraj. Yep, he's gonna get some time. You know, if you can do the, if you can do the time, don't do the crime. That's what we're saying. So, a farmer, Ganesh Danraj, he is going to learn the hard way. The hard way. You get, can get some time. You know, you gotta leave women alone. You know, we see this foolishness happening much too much locally. We got to leave our women folk alone, right? No problem is so intractable that we can't move on. Who tell you, though? Things are bad. You can't go your separate ways. Who tell you, sir? Who lying to us? And so, folks, we see a farmer, right? Tell us. This is uh, Ganesh Danraj, and he is going to be spending 24 years behind bars because he took the life of his wife. Strangled her to death, they're telling us, at Parika, and her name was Dalmati Ram. This, folks, is the other pandemic that we're dealing with. Domestic violence. That's the other pandemic that we're dealing with. That is it. And so this farmer, Danish Dan Raj, took it upon himself. They were having an argument, the reports tell us, and he strangled his wife. 24 years. Let justice be done. 24, that might be a little too short too. 24 years, you gotta move away now, you gotta contemplate in your action. Move away from society for a little bit and contemplate on your actions. And that's gonna be happening there, yep. No apologies, you, you, can't, um, you can't do the crime, you can't do the time, don't do the crime, 24 years. Come away from society and normal folks and you get a little chance to, a little quiet June. You and them boys, and you reflect on your actions. That's it. You know, we got we to gotta contemplate your actions. Contemplate it. Right? The self-examined life is important. Contemplate on your actions. And that's one of the things, folks, are making the morning papers this morning. Uh, another issue that we are looking at is this other issue which should interest you. Uh, a lot of cocaine. It seems like we were, it's raining cocaine in Trinidad. It's raining heavy. Literally raining. But in Guyana, it seems to be raining cocaine. At Good Fortune, the police intercepted some cocaine. At Good Fortune. Well, it wasn't Good Fortune for these fellow, Right? It wasn't Good Fortune for these fellow. Police intercepted a van at Good Fortune with cocaine. They said uh, when they searched the van, they found two, um, two brick-like Two brick like things, and when they examine it, it's cocaine. That's what the report telling us. And they have apprehended uh, William Metalhauser and Anthony Cadogan in the process of having found that cocaine in that van. And there's only one such story making the morning papers, you know. Then boys come back, and we've seen cocaine flooding this place like never before. Cocaine flooding this country, good folks, like never before. That's what we're seeing there. Anthony Cadogan. And William Metalhauser intercepted with cocaine at uh, Good Fortune. Yep. It's a tiny thing, stack. Now we got to go to all these extremes. You think it's only uh, these folks? No, no, no. That's the beginning of the, the cocaine rain. The raining, raining cocaine because also, um, all right, we're going to get to the others a little bit. But that, that happened at, at, at Good Fortune. But in the morning papers as well, as well, uh, you know, want to bring you up to date with this one. Um, you know what, let me, let me deal with all of these narcotics issues off the bat. They're telling us also, um, at Bagatstone, at Bagatstone, you had some men who were intercepted with cocaine as well. You know, Latram Parmish and Mohammed Yusuf Prasad. Again, police intercepted a vehicle at Bagatstone, and they found this brick-like uh, substance, this brick-like object, two of them. Now, I don't know they got a cocaine farm in this country or a factory, but there's a lot of cocaine on the streets in this country. And they, so they apprehended Lachman Parmish and this other fellow, uh, Mohammed Yusuf 
Prasad with cookie and bag of stone. Where is cookie coming from? Here's Linky. I have oh, them boys come back, Marley Thomas. Where is cooking arriving from? Well, I listen. Cooking like you've never seen it before. You know, you get cooking, you get cooking, you get cooking. Cooking for everybody. All right. Oh, you think it finished there? You think the cocaine story finished there? No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. The folks telling us that an a, a, a driver in Atlanticville, a driver in Atlanticville, Roy Thomas, he was intercepted with cocaine in the crutch. <laughs> the, the sugar down. Folks, the sugar down in this country. Right. So you got back at stung, you got good fortune. And all that's within the last 24, you know, 72 hours. Roy Thomas, he's on the East Coast, Atlanticville. He got cocaine in the crutch. It's all kind of ways people <laughs> ferry or fetching cocaine, you know. All right. Brother Anderson said, them boys come back. It's true. Marta Harris, Romana, Romana, I've never seen so much cocaine on the streets like now. It's like anybody used to have randomly with got a little cocaine on them. What happened here? I saw, we spoke about this on, on the program as well. They intercepted, uh, they found cocaine on somebody, they, 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 a gram, I think it, it was, $20,000 bill. A man got a gram of marijuana, $20,000 bill. Cocaine and marijuana. Kind of same bill a month. So maybe that's the cue for them boys to flood the streets the way they're flooding it. Cocaine at Good Fortune. Cocaine at Baggett's Town. Cocaine at... Uh, Atlantic Hill. Where is cocaine coming from? Glenford Garden, do you know? Don Sullivan, cocaine and milk powder. Well, we can't tell the difference now. That's high science, you know. The difference between cocaine and milk powder, we can't. We're too strong in the department. We're not too strong. But we got to arrest this problem. We're happy to arrest this problem. And while we see the authorities making some efforts here, Kanu and so on, you know, the, the real masterminds. As we say, the intellectual artists, them boys escaping things, you know. Them boys escaping things. The intellectual artists, right? We got to go after them. The intellectual artists. That is what the uh, FBI came and told all your boy. And uh, I know, he said, we don't really want to see uh, people being intercepted. We want to see prosecutions and jail time. Successful prosecution. You're finding people. With cocaine, and then you know a, a, a file goes missing, and then ultimately the case gets dropped. But we want to see jail time. That's what them boys were telling them. That they, where all this cocaine coming from, Romana? Where all this cocaine coming from? Right? Where all this cocaine coming from? And then the little boys getting stopped. But the big ones, we know yet who ship all the cocaine to Belgium, for instance. Maybe Romana knows who ship all the cocaine to Belgium. To, to Belgium, the big fishes swimming, swimming past easily. It's them little ones, the cockabellies. It's them getting old, right? It's the little one. Whatever happened to uh, Minister Sonia Parag's niece? Where are we in that one, right? Where are we in that one? Interesting, very interesting. We know who shipped the eleven um, hundred pounds to um, the Netherlands, Belgium, the Netherlands. Those were the big bus we had. Right, but the one big concern is them boys, them boys getting intercepted. I want to give you guys a sense of what else is happening on the morning papers at, at our end. And as an update, we did talk about uh, this student from uh, GTI, the Government Technical Institute, uh, Samuel Granham, who was given a sound beating by Sabrook Market. Uh, the police have, uh, 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 have held uh, two students and are questioning them and the reports. Uh, revealed, they say when they uh, when they look back at some of the cameras that were in the area, uh, more persons, um, in addition to the uh, the the fellow that we told you all is wanted by police, who's already had some brushes with, with the law. In addition to him, uh, two students are now being questioned in relation to the beating of um, Samuel Granham and Samuel, you know, succumbed later at hospital to his injuries. Just he was just 19 years old. I think he was the only child for his parents. Folks, that's tough, you know. That's tough. You send your, your, your child on the errand and you don't know. That's the last day. He ain't coming back. 19 years old. He ain't started living life yet. Trying to pursue a career, a higher education, and, and so on at the Government Technical Institute. And that's it. So the police are telling us they've held two students in addition 
uh, there, there's another uh, man who's wanted by law enforcement in relation to that, um, beating to death, as it were, of Samuel Gannon. We want to say again, our thoughts and prayers are with his family and friends, uh, students of uh, the Government Technical Institute, and all those who knew and loved Samuel Granham, nobody should have to go in this way. And 19, 19, your mother milk still in your face, as we say proverbially here. As we say colloquially, your mother milk still in your face. 19, and gone. You know, and we're not too impressed. We have the police doing some work, but questioning them mean nothing. Right? Like the FBI, is, we want to see some prosecutions and successful country, uh, uh, successful prosecutions and convictions for those persons who were involved. Let justice be done. That's what we want to see. We want to see justice be done, good folks. That's what we were interested in. And folks, and those were just a couple of the things uh, that made the morning papers. Just a couple of the things that made the morning papers. This morning, uh, how are things on your front? Carol Roberts and I see uh, Ramaya, Andre, and uh, Andre Ayabo is here. Rest in peace indeed. Rest in peace. And again, our thoughts and prayers uh, go out to that family. It can't be easy, folks. It cannot be easy. You know, your loved one uh, go off on a simple errand. And you don't know that's it, you know. They're not coming back. You don't know. You just don't know. And these are the times we're living in. And if anything, it's signs of the times. That's it. The child was unconscious at hospital for a long time and hooked up to, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, machine there. And then the hospital had the task of calling the parents to say, we can't do anything else for, the, for, for, for Samuel. And that's it, because some people right, see you or want to interfere with you. You know? Thoughts and prayers go out to that family, folks. Thoughts and prayers go out to that family. You know, I want to talk about some of the things that I bring this morning. Some of the things that are in the morning brew, and we're happy to have uh, so many of you fantastic folks with us. Reynold Warren is here, and Karen Hughes is here as well. Uh, Karen, you could uh, give us a shout out. We give you the hookup, and we can do that little advertising so differently, you know, in a meaningful way that impacts the business. Give us a shout, Karen, 627-6963, and we can do that better for you. We can do that much better for you, Karen. Talk to us. Talk to me. We can fix you up. Ayabo and uh, Diane Graves. Andy, good to see you folks. Well, Anderson is here as well, and all the other beautiful folks who make the morning program special by your presence. We so we are so grateful, folks. A lot of things are brewing this morning. A lot of things are brewing, and we wanna we wanna kick start you guys off internationally, internationally, internationally on a couple of things that are brewing out. There. Margaret Nelson, good to see you, Margaret, and uh, again Beryl Crawford, and stay at Liverpool. Good to have you stay at and Mayborn King. Let's start off uh, by what's brewing internationally, folks. We want to bring your attention to a couple things. So much, folks, happening in the world. As soon as you blink, you miss something. So much, folks, so much, so much happening in the world out there. So much, you can't blink, you know, unless the boys go with you. You miss something interesting. So much is happening. And, folks, this is some really sad news. This is some really sad news. We're starting on the international front. Some really, really sad news. This, is, this folks, is uh, uh, Thailand. You know, an ex-policeman aggrieved by the way the system treated him. An ex-policeman went into a school and killed, uh, you know, 24 persons. 22 of them are children. Jesus of mercy. Father, come for your world. Father, come for your world. 22 of them were children. Right? Come for your world, Father. Please and thank you. Uh, folks, share the life for us. And smash that emoji button. Come for your world, Father. Come for your world. And I ain't let the gruesome part yet. They said he forced his way into this door that was closed where these, where, where these kids were sleeping. Right? Children, you know, he forced his way into this uh, closed off area. The children were sleeping. And the authorities are telling us that he used a knife. You know, it's alleged. He used a knife and he kills 24 children. How can you be so angry? Why are you going, going to jump off some bridge? If that's what you want to do to your life. 22 children. Folks, I got the impression the devil himself is whispering in the ears, you know. That's natural. 
22 children. Thoughts and prayers with the folks there in Thailand. You know, and saw some of the footage, your parents were just ambling outside of the school, waiting for information on their loved one. Folks, this is where we live again. We try to make sense of it, and some things just don't make no sense. Just don't make no sense at all. We, 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 we try to make sense of it. But invariably, it just don't make no sense. Right? How do you pass it? It don't make one goddamn sense. And you just got to trust that Father got a plan in all of it. You know, in all of it. In all of it, there's a plan. We just got to keep trusting. Because it don't make no sense. 22 children and 12 other people because you got a grievance with the system. Folks, that's sad. That's sad. Fast and prayers. Pray, pray for the people in Thailand. Pray for those families. Pray for the world. Pray for the world. So much foolishness happening. You know, so much foolishness. Pray for the world, folks. And we turn our attention, folks, to see what's brewing in the region. You want to see what's brewing in the region? Good to having the king here with us and uh, Colin Sandy. I see and Donna McDonald is here with us. Samoa Williams is here too. Ingrid King. It's so sad the Pray for the world, folks. We need prayers. Pray for the world. Everything turn upside down. Everything turn upside down. And here's some of what is happening regionally, folks. You know, Trinidad, I told you, Trinidad got a, a storm. And we showed you this. There was a forecast out. Gentlemen seem to be in Sparta and they seem to have missed us a little bit. But Trinidad is facing the brunt of it. Uh, this, this, this tropical wave, you know, flooding out Trinidad. You know, there's a woman missing too. There's a, there's a woman who is missing and who is, who's very dead. Right? She's from a place called uh, La Pena. Right? And the uh, Trinidad Fire and Service and Rescue Team, they're, they're on the hunt, folks. For this young lady, they're on the hunt for her. Right? Fred dead this morning. Teresa Lynch, 44, and her brother, William Ramlogan, they were attempting to cross a ravine near a place called McDavid Trace around 1 p.m. to escape the floodwaters while returning from her garden when she slipped and fell into the raging waters. And she's feared that this morning. Right? Life and death, as easy as that. Life and death. Good folks, as easy as that, as easy as that. And some of that's some of the information making the regional news. Life and death, folks, is as easy as that. That's just some of the things again making the regional news. We got that's why I said pray for the world. We would like to report inspiring and inspirational things early in the morning, but that's what's in the morning papers. That's what's making the rounds, but that's what's trending out on social media, inevitably. And so we give it to you like that. We give it to you just like that. And we turn our attention, folks, you all know, to the good old 592. The good old 592. And lots of stuff bring at our end, too. You know, we don't be left out of nothing. Ainsley Morgan. Good morning, Ainsley and Hazley King. We don't be left out of nothing. Dolores Lynch and Vanessa Wardy, Jennifer Bob. We ain't be left out of nothing, good folks. And the good old 592. Right? And more things happening here than any place else. You blink. You take a fight, you miss a lot of important things. Joy Kosher, good to see you here. And Adrian Moses, good to see you as well. And Reynold Warrell, Jennifer Bob, and all you other beautiful, fantastic folks who are joining us. I see Marilyn Larmer is here. Marilyn, how are you doing? We trust that you are great today. You know, we really can't let nothing keep us down. We got to just keep putting one foot in front of the next and moving on, good folks. Keep putting one foot in front of the next and moving on. What else can we do? What else can we do? Good folks. It's sad what's happening in the whole world. Yep, in the 592 folks, here's how the things are going down. Can you imagine this? A quarantine man, Matthew, Ganga Prasad, right? Slashed his wife, his ex-wife, Rosanna Rahman's face after she threatened to call the cops. The report tells us that they've been married, they got two kids together. He left you two years ago, he moved with a woman. Oh, oh, hold the focus, then a man. Hold the focus, then, man, Matthew Ganga Prasad. 
He moved with a woman and his ex-wife said, you know, the godly kids, he's come around every now and again. And she fell up to him. She tell him, go at your business, man. You got a woman, go by Sheena, man, and make sure he's rebel. He slashed the woman's face. One report says he was obsessed with her. He was obsessed with her. Slashed the woman's face. Just so you know, folks. Just so. Uh, you know, just like that. That's one of the things growing locally, just like that. 28 stitches. The men out there, we don't own the women. They're not in property. If they're walking out, let me push off. Let me push off. We didn't have to stay friends. Let me push off. Please. I hope when they find him, they give him a good 28 years or something like that. We got to make some folks an example, you know. I fed up. I fed up. We got to make some people an example. Right? We got to make some folks an example. When they're a guy in it and uh, Renal Warren, we got to make some folks an example. I fed up. Like, I fed up now. You can slash the woman's face. There's obsession. That's wickedness. It's the devil. What else I can tell you? It's the devil. Obsession. They open their life and the devil talk to them and they're going to do foolishness. Well, you got lucky with some quiet shoe. Since I'm quiet shoe, let me get the devil out here. Lock him away, good folks. Win some quietude. And let me get the devil out of him. That's the Hazel Lee King. Around Eastern Duke and John Graves and around. We can't get it. If the devil's in him, we, we have to get the devil out. Anthony Peters, we can get the devil out. One way the next. And while that's happening on that front, folks, we got some additional information we want to share. We can get the devil out of him. 28 stitches because you're obsessed. All right. You know, I'm going to be a person that's obsessed. Well, commander, police commander, him not sure. He's talking about smooth, fuel smuggling in Region 1. Fuel smuggling in Region 1. And he indicates that in Region 1, fuel coming over from Venezuela is not subject to tax. But he says some people getting bright and moving the fuel out of Region 1 and bringing it into Georgetown with fuel fresh at a heavy price. Do you remember that? Fuel fetching a heavy price. But police commander him not sure says this is going on because of a blind eye policy. Uh, he said the authorities in Region 1 got a blind eye policy. Rohan Basantrum, you know what a policy like this, a blind eye policy. Patricia Asana, uh, uh, Beryl Crawford, he said the folks in Region 1, the authorities, the powers that be, that's a blind eye policy, and this smuggling of things, especially fuel, the commander says, is getting out of hand. But I would like to inform the commander that it's not only in Region 1 they got a blind eye policy. In, in right here in Region 4, and nationally, is a blind eye policy. Friends, family, and favorites know quite well about the blind eye policy. I spoke to you guys yesterday on the podcast. We're talking about that fellow uh, from the Metropolitan Transportation Authority, the MTA, Mr. Reese. And how their standards seem to be different. A conflict of interest, your employee, your family, through a third party and so on. No, 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 you got to go to for four years and not. Then by the talking with water in the mouth, you got to go, conflict of interest. You do wrong, you slip up. No, blind eye policy. That's the order of the day locally. Blind eye policy, Bantu King. Blind eye policy. That's what them boys behave with here. Blind eye policy. And that's one of the things, folks, brewing here locally. I, I'm happy that the commander put it in those terms. You want to see another blind You want to see blind eye policy? Folks, uh, there's a building causing a lot of confusion in this country. You know? I'm probably some blind eye policy here too. A lot of confusion. This building, <laughs> this building, causing and people are stunned at the cost of this building, you know. And we saw this feature and uh, DPI, a Peruni, a doctor's quarters. This humble building, it's touching. Comes in at the price of forty million. I don't like the work with the material, the Peruni. 
14 million they're telling us i want you to take a good look at it this is 40 million dollars folks prince hadari your majesty is this 40 million dollars in the king of front parts this is i guess take a sip of my coffee why are you trying to make up your mind is this 40 million this is the building that lit up social media overnight kyle rowling says what Samuel Williams, Yvonne, 14 million. Well, some folks are the outside. Maybe the things inside. Ah, huh? is the things inside? You know? Maybe it's not the outside. Maybe it's not the wood. Is the things inside? This humble dwelling. All right? Blind eye policy, 40 million. Somebody says 4 million, but then by split them 10. <laughs> ah, blind eye policy, folks. Maureen Williams, who shared the life, man? I know you all get transfixed on the program and y'all hands don't work. Dan Grezani says, no way. Prince Adari says, no way, Shira. Donna DiBarro says, wow. I say the same thing. Akila Ash, yep, they walk with them materials. They walk from Georgetown. All right. I see somebody saying, thief, thief, thief. Margaret Daly says, is this a joke? 14 million. I want to feel that the Department of Public Information got the cost around. Right? 14 million doctor's quarters. The best explanation them boys come up with is not the outside list. Must you got plenty of things inside. You know, water, water, TV, jacuzzi, you know. Fancy thing, vibrating, bed, and um, you know, the floor is heat automatically. You know, those kinds of things, those kinds. 14 million folks. I ain't tell you, them boys come back. Bless you, Wano. Them boys come back in live and living color. 40 million. Jeffrey Bowery says it's 40 minus 8. You, you got that right. Some more. <laughs> Some more Williams said, wake me up. I think I'm dreaming. 40 million. We need the Evans says madness. Mad. Yep, yep, yep. And Melanie Adams says, help us in Guyana. Good. Margaret Nelson says, inside that X-ray machine and scanner. You're onto it, Margaret. Margaret, you're onto it. X-ray machine and scanner inside. Yeah. We beg, people. We beg, but we ain't. We max the thing -ish. We English coming along. But we beg, but we ain't, um, we ain't Don't come around really with funny with that. Them boys want to tell us that is $14 million. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. You know, some folks different. And some folks, when they say boots on the ground, they mean things different from us, you know. Things different from us. The folks at Santa Rosa, something in the water out there, something in the fruits and the vegetables, they're different. The folks are still protesting that the two shall be fired. Can't give an account for the money. Can't give an account. I want this day bill. If the two shop bill, the, uh, the doctor's quarters. The 40 billion palatial dwelling. I want this. Is this two show bill it? I'm wondering, folks. I'm wondering. Even I can wonder. Beyond nowadays, can't I wonder? Huh? Can Anna and God, can't I wonder? But, Maybe it's him. But the folks at Santa Rosa saying they're waiting for final. They want it to show gone. And they've been protesting and making their voice heard. Boots on the ground, good folks. That's how the folks there at Santa Rosa and Region 1. That's that's how those folks are doing it. Boots on the ground. It's different, different out there. <laughs> different. I'm happy to see our indigenous brothers and sisters, you know, on the forefront. On the forefront of it, folks, and uh, closer to where we are, they're telling us, you, you all remember this? We have the Quindon Backer story. We have the Quindon Backer story. When those folks marched down from the East Coast, it shook this regime. It shook them. And we're learning that the preliminary inquiry into the killing of Quindon Backers is set to begin in February of next year. February, folks, sometimes. Ronaldo Cassius, Elizabeth Narain, sometimes justice takes a long time. 
You know, I heard the great civil rights leader Martin Luther King says, Dr. Martin Luther King, justice too long delayed. It's justice delayed. February of next year, for the preliminary inquiry to start into the uh, gunning down, the shooting of Quindon Bacchus there. Yep, next year, perhaps. Perhaps justice will come next year. Perhaps justice will come next year, good folks. And that's one of the things we're, that's brewing this morning locally. One of the things we, 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 we got our fingers on, brewing locally. And now the biggest you, them boys care. It's true. They say they care, but we're feeling it so much. Them boys care. They say we care. But if you let, how are they going for us? On every front, there's such a degradation since August 2nd, 2020. There is such degradation in morality and in governance and accountability. You name it. Them boys said they care. First thing, this is a photograph. I wish I had a bigger one for you. Yesterday, Alpha and Ali, the install president, teaches their message. You know, at Steel House, Irfan fling on a blue t-shirt. And this is how he going to comport himself to talk to the nation's teachers about how important they are. Right? Fling on a, a, a blue tight and sweet t-shirt. And he comes to tell the nation, teachers, you all important to me. Oh, let somebody visit visiting. You're going to see top tuxedo, a cock, hat, and a cane. But for the teachers, you wake up in your night t-shirt and your jacket t-shirt and you just roll out there. Say, so y'all matter to us. Right? That's one of the issues we focus, focus on. They say we care. <laughs> we didn't show it. It didn't show it at all. And we wanted to show. It is not showing. They say we care. They didn't show it. At all, at all, at all, at all. That's one of the things we're grappling with this morning. This regime, the, the actions, differ so vastly from the words. They say one thing, right? And they do something else. And you all know yesterday was International Teachers' Day. We say Happy Teachers' Day to folks all day long. We hope that you all in Bilob got something in it. <laughs> ah, oh, no, no. We hope you all Bilob's. Came in and y'all got something purposeful in those envelopes. And we hope that you guys took a chance, took an opportunity to wish our teachers happy Teachers Day. Right? We hope we really get a, we really get a 3,000 voucher. Improve from last year. That's what everybody is telling us. They got a 2,000 voucher. But yes, there was a National Teachers Day. And we, any day we can say happy Teachers Day. Y'all know by the way. Any day we can say happy Teachers Day. Right? But it's what everybody say that is starting to us. It's what everybody say that is starting to us. Because Airfan was out there. And look what Airfan said about. Airfan said that the administration is working hard to give teachers the best environment. Like at uh, East Ramble Secondary. They're working hard to give teachers the best environment. Where teachers got to be teaching in tents. Folks who share the life, Marlon Larva. Show the live, smash the emoji button, and partner with us, folks. We need your love, we need your support, financial and otherwise, to keep going. You know, this presidency agent here, friend, is, is like sucking me. He got to stop it up. Right? Yesterday we saw Airfund gray, gray, gray. Two years in, by the time he gets to 2025, we'll recognize him. We will rec we we'll recognize Airfund. Right? But tomorrow you can see Airfund Jet Black, you know, his magic. Tomorrow you can see Airfund Jet Black, his magic. He said, we, we're working hard to give you the best environment as part of his, his message to teachers. The best environment is where they got tents. And his uh, Minister of Education said yesterday on that tent situation at East Rumbelt secondary. He says um, they're, they're working the best interest of the students. 
It's the house of intents. And the best interest of students is to provide education for them in tents. That's what the minister said. We are operating in the best interest of our students. But of course, you know that the APNU FC, we said in our program uh, yesterday, they were advocating that we rent, rent some buildings. We got the money now. Rent some buildings and let's house our students properly. Here's the case. Elizabeth Narain, that's what APNU FC is saying. Let's rent some buildings and house our people with dignity. We took a look at the uh, column Peeping Tom this morning. And Peeping Tom had a mouthful. Peeping Tom out of cultural news had a mouthful to say on this very, very issue. Peeping Tom is of the impression uh, that our children should not be school under tents. Should not be school under tents. I see some of you saying you're fed up. I passed it about two years ago. I fed up. Fed up. The column says our students should not, should not be schooled on the tents. Folks, we want others to get credible, vile information, share life for us, and smash that emoji button if you can. You'll mean the world to us. Smash that emoji button. Paven John says in this column today, it matters not whether the school is parent teachers association and or the students recommended and or agree to the tent solution. It matters not. The APNU AFC is correct. Well, this one here throw me because people in town don't like APNU AFC. The APNU AFC is correct. I was stunned. The APNU AFC is correct in asserting that having students come in asserting rather in asserting that having students accommodated in such circumstances constitutes a violation of their rights. Such conditions are inhumane and impair their right to secure an education as provided for in the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child. And Peeping Tom makes the point that this is an administrative issue. It is incompetent. The ministry must know how much students are in its system and where they are, where they got space and where children can be placed. But they continue deliberately to send children to schools that got no capacity to house them. It's an administrative problem. That is the point. Pippin Tom is raising in the Pippin Tom column in Kaitri News this morning. And APNU AFC is right. But you know, once you get in the article, then everybody's going to stop reading. Once we get to that point in the, article, in the column, APNU AFC is right. Then everybody's going to stop reading. Fling that way. But it's a pretty interesting read this morning's Kaitri papers. APNU AFC is right. Them boys say, we care, care where? Give us a break. You know, there's a Guyana Basin's uh, oil summit that's happening right here at the Guyana Maria. It's going down. The Guyana Basin's uh, summit, I think it is, it is called. And them boys are going, you know, them boys who care about the stewardship of the oil and gas sector. All right? They say they're here, but them boys are attending. They are not attending. The, the entire government boycotted the opening of the Guyana Basin Summit. The entire government boycotted the opening. And they tell us that Winston Brassington, you remember he was charged with fraud and so on in relation to um, his tenure at What's the name of the organization? He was charged with fraud. It's not coming to me right now. Right? He was supposed to be speaking in one of the panel discussions. And then you get a call. You dare not go there. He didn't turn up. He didn't turn up. So they have boycotted this event for all intents and purposes. They have boycotted the event. And then boys in the care, you know. 
at this event, they're talking about uh, stewardship of our uh, natural resources, our stewardship, and they're saying that this thing ain't going to be flowing all the time, this black gold we got out there. And we got to invest in education, we got to invest in healthcare, we got to invest in good infrastructure, we got to put aside some money for the children too. Them boys don't want to hear that. Them boys want to hear friends, family, and favorites. That's what interests them. They want to hear about friends, family, and favorites. And the garden. So they boycotting the Ghana Basin Summit. That talks about how we can improve this oil and gas sector. They don't want nobody. Because you know why? They are the repository and the fountain of all knowledge and wisdom. So what can these experts at the Ghana Basin Summit tell us? What can they tell us? Because right? suddenly, when you hear Jack Dion oil and gas, you think it's his whole life he in oil and gas. He won't lecture people on oil and gas now. It's his whole life. Right? And if you want to know how bright they are, look at the economy. Because that's supposed to be their forte. Economics. Supposed to be his forte. But look at the economy. And then tell me if you can take your advice on oil and gas. Overnight, you got all these experts that have sprung up. I got all these panacea for what's happening with oil and gas and how we should do this and how we should do it. But they ain't listening to the real technical experts. They have abandoned them. They've abandoned them. And now when you have competent people at a forum like this, who you can benefit from the collective knowledge and wisdom, them boys boycotting. You see why we the problem we're in? Rihanna Moore, Ayabu Natasha Congress, Maureen Williams. You see why we got the challenges that we got? Because this is the situation we find ourselves in as a people and as a country. Maureen Williams asked who sponsored the summit. Well, they're telling us uh, Digicel. I saw one report that suggests Digicel uh, carried the sponsorship for the summit. Predominantly, but this is help. Then boy said, eh, we out, we out, we know enough. We got things out of control. Right? Gas for sure and um, modular oil refining and so on. We got things, we got things. Y'all don't worry yourself. Don't bother with that. That's what them boys say. Well, don't cut where you can't fetch. That's what we say. Guys, it's been a privilege being here with each and every one of you this morning. I see Isabella is with us and Martin Lima and Drani Licker. And we're going to be back, folks. We're going to be back. We've come to that hour. We're going to be back with you, FYI. Um, we're going to be back with you uh, tomorrow with FYI. We're going to be on with you today below the bet at 12. And we're going to be on with you this evening for um, in the ring. That little program that we have, that little train. Going along. Chuka, 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 chuka. Anyway, we can see you guys there. Talk about some more issues. When we get to you on that side of the day, good folks, why don't you guys go ahead and have a beautiful, fantastic day. And thank you for joining us this morning. I have Natasha Congreves and Carol Roberts. And guys, share the life before you go. Share, share, share the life for us. And partner with us as well, folks. Smash that emoji button and partner with us so that we can keep on keeping on bringing you guys valid and credible information. Good to see you, Selena Fraser. And thanks for the thing, Marilyn Thomas and Chris Kippin, Ayab Natasha, uh, Gwyneth Anderson, and such and so forth. Good to see each and every one. It's been our privilege being here with you this morning. Uh, good to see you, lovely people. We're going to see you guys right back here today. Yep, we're going to be below the belt at 12, and today we're in the region. We take a look at what's happening in the region, good folks. That's what we're going to be talking about. What's happening in the region where you guys are? Indrani Likaram, good to see you. Indrani, I see you coming there. Boyd Williams and Sasha Trim. Sasha, you're quite all morning. Sasha, you're quite all morning. Good to see you. And uh, Candy Lindenjit, you have a great day as well. And tell Marky hi for us. I see Sandrine Beard is here with us as well. It's been a privilege being here with you. Beautiful, fantastic folks. That's going to do it for us. That's we time. And that's we program. That's our time, good folks. 
And that's our program. Stay safe out there. Stay safe, each and every one of you.